back to the question. We're going to find out about the different um, uh, schools that you could work at in Thailand. Again, whether it's government all the way up to the prestige BIS, these international schools, different pay grades and how you could even transition just coming as a backpacker, working at a government school and even making your way up to BIS where obviously the pay is going to be much better. Absolutely. Um, initially, I did start off at a government school, a secondary, actually in Phuket. So what happened was I just looked on, it was very easy for me to get my job, went online, had my little interview, job yours, okay. Uh, it was a secondary school, so it was a high school. It's the first time I've ever taught, so I really was pushed into the deep end. But I do believe that that experience really taught me, okay, you can do this, go for it. And then from there, I went off to Kajan Kiet. Um Yes, Kajan Kiet, they pay you a little bit more, but they work you to the ground. So in relativity, if I look back, I preferred the government school than Kajan Kiet just because of the nature of how much they expect you to do for the amount they pay you. What about like, uh, let's talk work hours per week, if you were to compare them. Well, your work hours might be the same, but the difference at a government school is that you maybe teach three to four lessons and then you just sit there, which some people might find it brain numbing. But if you've got different projects, your own things, then you've got time to practice your own things, do your own research and so on so you could do some freelance work while sitting around all day exactly that's exactly it genius so, yeah so that's why if you ask me a government school for a person that no, doesn't necessarily want to be a teacher full-time and so on is a better option um then you get the kajan kids kajan kid actually has kis and kajan kid school group the kis is the international school um that's a different ball game and then from there, there's also so many. That's the thing. The schools are popping up here in Phuket. Yeah, you, got, you, you got QIS, Head Start, you know. Men, You've men, got your QSI. QSI. A Head Start, BIS. What else is there? Now Head Start is opening a new campus. Right over here in Chernitale, yeah. Exactly. Um, and with those schools, of course, it's a different level because there's international people that are running it. The schools are not necessarily Thai run. Of course, it's partnerships and so on but it's international school standards. Um, at the moment, my niece is actually at uh, BIS, so they do have a certain level they want to uh, you know, withhold, but apparently even BIS is not on par with the UK standards of where they should be. Or these Singapore schools. Exactly. So at the end of the day, you can work at BIS. I think you can make about 100K a month. Uh, Head Start, you can make about 80K a month. Uh, Kajan Kiet as a teacher if you've got a teaching degree I think you start off at 52 uh, if you don't I think now they're starting the teachers off at 36 but you're talking like a like a teaching degree from a university yes you so, need this yes yeah, so if you have okay if you don't have a teaching degree from a university I highly doubt you'll get into Head Start or BIS or so on but at Kajan Kiet if you do have a teaching degree, I think your starting is 52. And But what about tax? You're being taxed in Thailand? Yes, you are being taxed in Thailand. I think it's, is it 1%, 3% or something like that? So it's very low. It's really a very low Coming amount. Coming up 3% per year or per month? Well, per month. Okay. They'll take your tax off monthly. Okay. But it's really, it's not that much. In comparison to other countries, 3% is next to nothing. But then if you work at the government schools, you can earn between 33 and about 35, 36, depending if you're native or not. And again, then it depends, okay? You can work on this money, but how much are you making on your own private things? So you have to do the calculations and the math. Yeah, so what what you're saying is like, yes, you're going to get paid more, maybe let's say 50, 55 at uh, a Kaojong Kia. If you're a teacher. If you're a teacher. If you're not, it's 36 starts. But you're going to be too burnt out to do anything else. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, you got to, you got to, you got to balance that well, because you could essentially make your 30, 35 at a government school, but you might be able to make 50, 60, a hundred doing freelance of who knows what, but at least your government school gives you a working visa and you have no issues staying in the country. Absolutely. And that is the whole thing. That's why a lot of people do do this avenue or chose to do this avenue. Personally, I also did it. I went to the Kajan kids and then I decided, no, 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 I'm not working this hard for <laughs> this. Yeah. You no, know? That, I never thought of it that way. I've all, <laughs> I always thought that the cow, I always assumed Kajan Kiet was the step up from the government schools. But in reality, 
Um, there's more freedom of, of your time at these government schools. And I feel like you, you can still have that time to go to the beach. Do they let you leave during the day at all? Or are you pretty much stuck there nine to five? You pretty much stuck there from 7.45 until 4.30 most of the That's schools. That's not too bad. Absolutely. But it depends the relationship you have with the schools because previously I worked at a school that allowed me to go home at one o'clock when I was finished my teaching. Just depends on the relationship you have at the school. But generally it is quite micromanaged. You come in this time and you leave this time and that's it. Now, wouldn't one of the advantages at a government school, let's say you got in at a Thai government school in Chertelay, you can now live in Chertelay instead of having to commute to Katu. Isn't that a massive, especially in the rainy season? Absolutely, absolutely. So location makes a big difference too. But even so, if you work for a Kajan kit, there are many campuses. So you could choose or if they would put you here or there, I'm not too sure. But some people do, of course. So Kajan kid is more established and so on than government schools. They've got air cons in the classes. <laughs> so that's a big thing because, I mean, when I started teaching in my first year, there was not an air con in the class and I just dripped with sweat all day long at the so, government school yes okay so really it's hot the, these are these hidden gems that you know <laughs> take that into consideration as well especially if you're coming from a cold country um thailand takes a couple of years to get used to the heat where your body just comes uh, completely acclimatized to that absolutely it does take yeah. a while and your number one is not it yeah so and really you'll be in the class and you'll be sweating and the children are just looking at you and you're like there's nothing wrong i don't have anything i'm just hot yeah. <laughs> so uh, yes that's also another option if you enjoyed this content we're doing five clips like this a week if you want to watch the full podcast click here